request all of us to stand as the band comes in. Kindly, let's all stand.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this great occasion to celebrate our students who have done so well. I want to thank you for waiting, and I want to pray that this is going to be a blessed day. I'd like us to stay standing for the national anthem, the East Africa anthem, and the Scott hymn in that order, please. singing the Scott Christian hymn and uh, for those who do not know this hymn I will just sing the first stanza and the chorus and then you will join in the vocals um, for the Scott alumni who have sung this song several times can you sing louder than the others so that we can go together it goes like this God of wisdom Lord God of love did Scott family from above mold our life to thine design for thy by the strength of Lord divine O Scott family send out men to our lost deep in sin men who hear the spirit Building their lives, their own. Now we can go together. Let's go. God of wisdom, Lord God of love, this God family from above, mold our life to thy design. Hold I by the strength of Lord divine. Scott family send out men to our lost deep in sin. Men who hear the spirits call, yielding their lives their own. God of goodness, Lord God of light, God's family Yielding to thy guiding hand, holding for thy truth in this our land. O Scott family, send out men to our lost deep in sin. Men who hear the spirits call, yielding thee their lives. 
God of mercy, Lord God of grace, for what lead us in our race, give us vision to obey thy commandments, Lord, from day to day. Oh, Scott, family, send out men to Christ our Savior, Christ our King, O oh, to Thee we freely bring. Take our lives, our will, so Lord, cleanse our every thought, our every word. O oh, Scott, family, send out men to our lost deep. Men who heap their spirits go, yielding be their lives their life. And before we pray, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 3 from the TPT uh, uh, says, for we remember before our God and the Father, how you put your faith into practice. 
How your love motivates you to serve others. And how unrelenting is your hope filled patience in our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, in the quietness of this morning, we are gathered here, specifically not on this field for the 56th time, but in the east of Scott Christian University to celebrate this auspicious occasion as we witness the graduation of these your children, servants, men and women prepared to go out there and change the world, to impact the world towards godliness and goodness, towards godliness, changing the world, that they may bear witness and bring justice to them that are hurting. We pray and present everything that we're going to do today that your name will be glorified. We thank you, Father, because it is in this institution that many of us who are here, our destinies are being changed and are being shaped. We pray, Father, that you help Scott to grow, to grow, to heights of greater prosperity for your own glory and honor. And thus, we invite your presence and educate ourselves once again that you may forgive us of anything that can make you not to hear our prayers. Because, Father, you know, the psalmist said, if I had hidden sin in my heart, you would not have heard my prayers. And who are we to claim to be without sin. And that's why we bow before you this morning and say, Heavenly Father, forgive us, cleanse us, that your presence may tabernacle go here. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. You may be seated. One announcement before we move on to the program. Our washrooms are behind the tents. And if you need anything and you can't find it, you're going to find help with our ashes. The people standing near you with sashes that say welcome. So please, you can sort help from them. At this time, we are going to have a session of handing over the instruments of power led by our Dr. Joe Mutekehi. Welcome, sir. Good morning, everybody. It is a very unusual but a very blessed uh, assembly. It has not been properly constituted yet because you will allow me to just perform one small duty. I have the honor and the pleasure of introducing uh, for the very first time our Vice Chancellor, Dr. Morompi Oleronkei, and until I am able to do that publicly, he is not able to constitute a formal assembly for the graduation. So allow me and give me just a few minutes to be able to do that. Uh, after a fairly lengthy search, uh, interviews, prayers, and many of you have been praying for quite a while, and we thank you most sincerely. The Lord brought to us Dr. Morompi Oleronke and your counsel after interviews and consulting with the Board of Trustees and with the promoters of the church has appointed officially Dr. Morompi Oleronke to be Vice Chancellor for a period of five years. Um, there will be a formal uh, review after six months, but he has hit the road uh, running, as it were. I know he used to be a runner. I hope uh, we can catch up with him. Dr. Oleron K is a PhD holder in journalism and political science from the University of Oregon. He's got a PhD in communications from the same uh, university. And he's been a teaching fellow uh, at the University of Oregon. 
senior lecturer's position at Daystar University, head of department, World Bank consultant. He's been a global employee of uh, Compassion International, where he worked at uh, the formation of their own internal university for their own training. Served as a council member of Taita Taveta University. He's been chairman of council of Taita Taveta University. He's been a member of council of Desta University. Uh, and he's worked with uh, the African International Universities. Uh, more importantly, he served as an elder at the elder court of the Nairobi Baptist Church. And you will totally agree with me uh, that in that CV, including coordinating the National Prayer Breakfast, we found ourselves a leader for the next season of Scott Christian University. So it is my joy and my honor to preside over this very small and very brief ceremony of handing over the instruments of power and robing Dr. Morompi Oleronke briefly so that he can constitute this assembly. Dr. Oleronke. Can I have the, inst the instruments are here? I apologize for my height, I used to be taller wise. <laughs> I'm a man of uh, few words and rushed. The chief guest used to know me in finance circles, and now uh, I'm sure she's wondering what I'm doing here. But this is where the Lord sent me. <laughs> uh, the charter for Scott Christian University, uh, I would like to hand that over to your custody. Uh, we have a copy here of the statutes. Uh, if you can keep that in your custody and ensure that they are duly followed, the success factor for the university and any institution is governance. So this, uh, the, the, the observance of the rules and statutes is something that must come from the very top of what we do. And this is a copy of the university's act for your uh, custody. Um, Included with that, obviously, it will be the instruments of for council, for the board of trustees, all of which will be housed in your office. Yeah, I would also like to hand over uh, the. I'm going to bring the maze close by. Me, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
this, this, this is our AI is out. This, uh, I don't know what to refer to. This is our logo. And in it, we will play around with it until we, the Lord returns. <laughs> And the and the and the mix. There you are, sir. And the and the seal for all the documents. Oh my, the seal. We used to do this for company secretaries. Uh, this is for the university. I hold it to your custody and ensure that it is only used to the authorization. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, it's now my distinguished honor to allow the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Morompio Leronkei, to constitute this assembly. In exercise of the powers bestowed upon me by the University Council, in accordance with the Charter and Statutes of Scott Christian University, I now declare this congregation officially constituted for the purposes of conducting the 56th graduation ceremony at Scott. Christian University. We are so excited to have a new Vice Chancellor and we are so very happy and we thank God. At this time we are going to have one of the Scott Christian University choirs and that is the Seventh Day Adventist Choir. Take the floor please. After they present that song, we're going to have a congregational hymn led by our hymn leader today, Mrs. Joyce Mwasa. Thank you. 
from some of our selected students. At Skor Christian University, we have three schools, 
the School of Theology, the School of Education, and the School of Professional Studies. We are going to have a lectorian from each of these schools, and if they can walk towards the podium, I'll be very glad. We're going to start with Abed Mutiani from School of Theology, followed by Ann Abuga from School of Education, and Teresia Nyangudi from School of Professional Studies. Chief Guest, Honorable Lady Justice Mother Kome, the Chancellor of this great university, Reverend Dr. Silas Diego, the African Inland Church, Presiding Bishop, Reverend Abraham Mulwa, the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Morombi Holeronke, distinguished guests, the Dean of Schools, the Management Board, the Senate, Scott Christian University faculty and staff, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Abed Mudiani from the School of Theology. Scott Christian University, where we are seated today, began as a training center for pastors at an advanced level. Today, it is a university that is growing with a strong foundation of Christian values. In the world today, there are famous universities that began as pastors' training institutes or have their spiritual values based on the Bible. In the U.S., Yale started as a college to train Bible